Hello! Today, we will go over creating a Windows Server master image in VirtualBox. You could also call this a template or golden image. Setting up a master image is easy to do and saves a lot of time when you have multiple servers you want to deploy in your lab. I'm interested in deploying several Windows Server 2022 servers, so I'll be using a Windows Server 2022 180-day trial installation ISO in this video that I downloaded directly from Microsoft. For my master image, I want to start with a clean install of the operating system. I'll then get up to date on patches and updates, and finally make a few setting changes that I want to have already configured when I deploy from this image. In a previous video, which you will see a card in the upper right, I walked through setting up the VM settings for the actual initial OS installation, so I won't repeat that here, but take a look if you're interested. Let's get started. Once the OS is cleanly installed onto the VM, fully patched and updated, and set up the way you want, shut it down. So we'll go ahead and shut down. The name of the VM in VirtualBox should reflect that this VM is for installing updates and creating the master golden image. I'll call this particular VM Updates. Copy this first VM using the VirtualBox copy process. Now, VirtualBox doesn't actually call it copy. The word they use is clone. So we're going to clone this virtual machine. For the name, we'll just call this master. Create a full clone. We'll include everything. We'll generate a new MAC address for all network adapters. And then click on clone. This is important. If you just copy the hard drive file, you'll get an error in VirtualBox when you try to attach the hard drive to another VM because each virtual disk has a unique ID associated with it that VirtualBox keeps track of. VirtualBox won't allow you to attach the copied virtual disk to a VM unless you use the VirtualBox command lines to change this unique ID. But rather than go through all that trouble, it's easier just to clone. The idea here is that you can update the updates VM over time with updates, then copy again to make a new golden image to deploy from. This process avoids running sysprep more than once on the same VM, which can cause problems if run too many times. On older OS versions, you could run sysprep a max of three times on the same computer. On newer OS versions, this limit has been raised to 1,000 times. But to keep things as clean as possible, I suggest running sysprep only once. On the copied VM, which we now call master, run sysprep so that it becomes a master golden image. So we'll go ahead and start this VM. To run sysprep, right click the start button, click on run, and then type in sysprep. Here you'll see sysprep.exe. So we'll double click sysprep.exe. We want to leave enter system out of box experience. Click on generalize. And then for shutdown options, click on shutdown. And then OK. So sysprep is now going to run. And when it's done, this virtual machine will shut down. Sysprep makes changes to the OS by removing information that was specific to the hardware it ran on before. And when it boots up, it runs through a mini setup so it creates a new internal ID for itself and clearing the way to be installed fresh on another computer, or VM in our case. Resetting the internal ID, technically the computer SID, is especially important if you intend to join these VMs to the same Windows domain. You will get errors if you don't run sysprep first. This master VM, or our golden image now, is now ready to be copied. So whenever we need another VM, we can go here and go through the cloning process to create new VMs. Let's go ahead and do that so we can see what this will look like when we bring up a newly cloned VM from this master copy. 
So we'll just put in test for the name, full clone, everything, and again generate new MAC addresses and clone. We now have a copy of master called test. So let's go ahead and start this up. You can see that when we start these copies up, it's going to run through this mini setup wizard, letting us know that this is a fresh install. Go ahead and set these as you need. Click on next, accept, put in our administrative password. We now have a fresh install of the Windows OS. That wraps it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.